Mohala Mai O Hau, How Hau Became Hau Ula, written by Robert Lono Ikua, illustrated by Matthew Kavika Ortiz. Hau was the youngest of four sisters. Her kaikua ana, or older sisters, were known throughout the land for their stunning beauty. My trunk stands tall and majestic, said Niu the Hiapo. My gentle leaves sway to and fro. He nani no ho ikau. I must be beautiful. My trunk is straight and sturdy, said Puhala, the second kaikua ana. My clusters of leaves wave in the wind. Heu inoho ikau. I must be gorgeous. My trunk is strong and firm, said Lehua, the other kaikua ana. My brilliant red flowers attract many birds. He hie hie noho ikau. I must be charming. Hau, the Muniloa, thought very differently of herself. My trunk is wild and crooked. My big leaves always fall to the ground. He pupuka no ikau. I'll never be beautiful like my kaikua ana. Neil could do all kinds of things. With her leaves, she made papale, baskets, and brooms. With her fruit, she made juice, oil, and vayu. Puhala could do all kinds of things. With her leaves, she made muena, hats, and sails. With her fruit, she made paintbrushes, medicine, and lay. Lehua could do all kinds of things. With her flowers and leaves, she made lei, tea, and dye. With her trunk, she made instruments, canoes, and hale. Hao, on the other hand, did not know what she could do. My flimsy leaves flap around in the wind, she said to herself. All the kids laugh at me and stomp on my branches. One day, the four sisters and their parents went to a family ahaaina. As usual, their makua asked each of the sisters to dance a hula. Niu went first, Puhala was second, Lehua was third. The three kaikuaana danced beautifully. Hao was last. She trembled with nervousness and forgot her motions. Her kaikua ana began to laugh and tease her. They called out, Naluli Luli, Naluli Luli, because Hau was so shaky and unsteady. The three kaikua ana were scolded by their parents, but they continued to tease Hau. That evening, Hau walked home, very kaumaha. She wondered why her sisters were so beautiful from head to toe, yet so mean and ugly inside. And she wondered why she was so worthless and awkward. How cried and cried herself to sleep. As she lay sleeping on her moi, a kupuna wahine appeared to her in a dream. My dearest how, e ho'olohe mai, you are so beautiful and have many gifts to share. But my leaves make a mess, Hao sobbed. Kiki stomp on my branches. Everybody laughs at me. You don't know this, said the gray-haired kupuna, but children love to play in your branches and leaves. You bring joy and laughter to many, my dear Hao. Listen to me. When you realize your gifts and inner beauty, you will truly blossom. The next morning, as the bright la rose in the east, Hao's tears began to dry. She smiled at the memory of what the kupuna had shared. 
Maybe children like playing with me, she thought. Maybe my next hula will be better. She felt a change in her. Where she once felt empty and worthless, she now felt confident and hopeful. The change inside began to show on the outside. Hao's plain green leaves had turned red, and there now grew among the red leaves a bright yellow flower. Later that morning, Hao's ohana gathered again to eat the leftover mea ai. As Hao greeted them with a big smile, her kaikua ana noticed something different. Oh, Hao Kela, they asked each other. Is that our youngest sister? It's like she's changed overnight. Niu, Puhala, and Lehua were amazed at Hao's quiet strength and confidence. As they danced hula together, all eyes were now on Hao. She was poised and graceful, like an eel soaring in the clear sky. Her beautiful red leaves danced in the wind. Her yellow flower was now joined by more flowers, some yellow, some orange, all glistening in the sunlight. Because of her red leaves, Hau was given a new name, Hau Ula, or Red Hau. Hau Ula made lei, dye, and medicine with her leaves and flowers. With her branches, she made rope, fishing tools, and lupe. Hau Ula began to see that she had many gifts to share, just like the wise Kupuna said. She now understood her unique ability to bring joy and laughter to others. Most of all, she learned that true beauty comes from within.